Development in Coney Island claims to be the first multifamily project with an active geothermal system in New York City. And as CBS News Hannah Klieger reports, some are excited about the eco friendly features, but others worry about rapid overdevelopment in the area. Towering 26 stories over the peninsula's playful skyline, the new development at 1515 Surf Avenue promises change to the neighborhood in more ways than one. Local Law 97 is regulation coming into effect in 2024 that's going to regulate carbon emissions. Um, for all buildings, uh, bigger than I think 25,000 square feet. The building will house 463 new apartments, 139 of which will be affordable housing. But it's this complex system of pipes and levers called a manifold that makes the development unique. We're storing heat from the summer into the earth and extracting it when we need it in the winter. And we're not using a ton of electricity in the summertime to cool the building. They say this is going to be the first sustainable building of this kind in New York City. The underground wells located hundreds of feet below the building claim to reduce the building's carbon emissions by more than 60 percent. It's not hard to see new high rises which have popped up in recent years here. The building boom is the result of a rezoning in 2009, a cause of concern for Anne Michelle Valdez, who has lived in a nearby NYCHA development for decades. You're talking about bringing in hundreds of residents in that building alone, thousands between all the buildings that are going up here, but nobody is thinking about rebuilding the infrastructure. It's an amazing step forward that we are doing it, that we, we're trying to go to zero emissions. Mm -hmm. That is a real concern that people are going to be able to afford to live in Coney Island. Elcor, the development company behind the project, says it's designed to withstand flooding and promises thousands of feet of amenities. We're adding jobs, we're working with the local community board all throughout the, the construction process, and we think we'll ultimately be a net benefit to the community. The project is is expected to be completed in the first quarter of next year. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. Hannah is our community reporter covering Brooklyn. If you have a story idea for her, you can email the address on your screen.